Uh, yeah, uh, good question. I think we had uh, eight returning guys um, when we got there. You know, every situation is different when you take a job. Um, every situation is different relative to your returning players, relative to the guys that you need to sign. And maybe one thing that's not spoke of enough is when you take a job in April, the pool of players to choose from is very small. And so you don't want to make maybe short-term decisions on trying to win a game because you want to be motivated by the media picking you 12th. I think that's short-sighted. Um, you want to try to make sustainable decisions as best you can relative to the pool of players that are left. But any coach would say in any sport, I think that you're only as good as your returning players. And so whether that's five or eight or however many, uh, I would say a lot of those whole votes were based on who has the most returning players. Yeah, um, I say this with zero arrogance, I am. Yeah. Uh, because everything we're doing is brand new. Today will be our 10th practice. And so uh, a lot of what we'll do today, this will be the first time we bring officials in. Um, so this will be the first time we've literally played and there's officials. I think that'll be a good rep, but it's our first rep. Um, they had officials in Costa Rica. They were, they were just next door neighbors to the guys that we were playing. <laughs> so it wasn't really officials. Um, so everything is new. And so I think that uh, when it's something we did the day before or the day before, we're gaining some traction. But I don't know that um, in mid-October that we can truly say, oh, yeah, this guy's a leader. Because in order to be a leader, you have to have followers. And I don't necessarily, they, they know where to lead. Not that they don't want to lead. They're just not exactly sure where we're going. I can't speak on uh, what he did last year. Um, I do think in time he can be a good player. He's going to have to learn to be consistently good. That's what real players do in any sport. The ones that can do it day after day after day. Um, shooting a lot of balls in games that don't necessarily matter towards win or losing. I don't think that's defined by a good player. But I think that he's been... Uh, more than coachable and I think he's getting to the point when he knows it's something that we're convicted by he's becoming convicted by um, but I think it's way too early and I don't know that it'll happen anytime this month or before Christmas relative to leader uh, but their character is great and they're trying and I think that's a great start I think the game is going to positionless so uh, we're okay with that. But in order to be positionless, that means you have to be able to guard multiple positions. It sounds cool offensively. Where it becomes a bind is defensively, can you guard multiple positions? And I think that's that'll kind of determine how we're able to play is who can you guard and who can we guard? And then what would our plan be uh, of attack defensively on who's playing and how can we guard? Uh, when I was here as an assistant and Logan was here, I thought it was a very distinct advantage. I, I haven't been back to read since I left. Um, but I think uh, you want it to be an advantage. Probably need people younger than us at the game. And uh, those of us that are our age or older, we want them to be enthused to be at the game. And we need as many of those groups as we can. Um, it is an issue that we need to attack. It's probably not a priority to me today relative to all the things that we have to accomplish. But I hope that the things that we are making a priority trend towards people respect how we work and how we play. And hopefully that'll lead to more people in the seats. Uh, I, honestly, I just answered it the same way I just answered that. Uh, I was barely smart enough to graduate from college, for sure couldn't have got a degree in marketing, so I let those people handle it. Uh, we had more sellouts in the past two years than any two-year period in the history of the program. The program had been playing for 111 years, and uh, I did very little other than try to help us be the best we can be on the floor, and I think the product, over time, there began to be a groundswell in what we were doing. I think Virginia Tech is a football school. I think Texas A&M is a basketball school. Um, but it's only a basketball school because Texas A&M is a football school, right? And 
we love everything that there is about football because that means that there is potential for support in basketball. Uh, so I love being employed at a football school. I think that's a positive, not a negative. I, I think, you know, that's typical coach cliche answers, and I try to stay away from that. But I don't think you can spend all of your time going, hey, season tickets and buy some more tickets and come to the game. And then they come to the game and what they see is not worthy of them returning. The best businesses are the ones that have return business. And the only way you can have return business relative to support is that what you're doing uh, leads to them going, I want to come back. They're trying real hard. And as time goes, they're going to improve. And I'm not saying that's the right answer. And I'm not trying to dodge the question. We want as many people there as we can get there. Uh, beginning against a and Kingsville. But uh, it's just not the priority relative to the chair that I sit in. But I do think that the marketing office, uh, JMO, his crew, uh, I think they're all working hard and trying to be creative on how can we get Buzz out? How can we get these guys out? I think we're doing some stuff later in the month as a program that I think will be good for us. But anybody that wants to come, we want them to come and uh, we'll give away free tickets probably for a while. But we just want to make sure they come back. I like my assistant coaches there, dude. Does that count? No, mostly no. on the court. You're talking about players? Yeah. Um, Quentin Jackson is the only junior college player we signed. Uh, it gives him an advantage over the freshman that we signed just because he has some level of experience. Um, He's played, he's practiced, that helps. I think Andre Gordon is in a good groove through nine practices. He's starting to uh, take baby steps, but we're gonna need him to play. Uh, Cassius McNeely is one of our better shooters. Statistically speaking, just from looking at the stats from last year, I didn't watch any tape, but I looked at the numbers. We, we need as many guys that can make a shot as possible. I think we have some guys that can force help, but if we force help and we're pitching it to guys that can't make a shot, then that's not perfect. I, I think the one that will surprise everyone is the one that probably received the least amount of recognition, Jonathan Aku. Uh, was not here for summer school, did not go to Costa Rica was admitted on the Friday afternoon before school started on Monday. So never had an individual this summer, never had a weight session, and he has been remarkable considering that. Uh, incredible, beautiful soul as a human being. Uh, wants to be coached. Sometimes I don't know that I use the appropriate language with him. I go a little too fast but has probably become the most respected freshman I have seen since Joe Jones. Joe was a worker. Joe wasn't scared. Uh, Joe could uh, do his job. And so old kids uh, kind of pulled him. Like, come on, man. You're doing good. Let's go. And they began to kind of protect Joe because they knew they could count on him. And that's what's happening our kids don't know that, but that's what's happening a little bit with AQ. Uh, he could turn into a monster. I don't know that uh, what level of monster, but he is uh, hes going to play a lot, partly because of the void that we have. But he's gotten every rep in practice thus far because Nemo's gotten zero. And in time, that can end up being a benefit for all of us long term. But uh, he has been manna from heaven in many respects. As time transpired, they began to become better teammates towards one another. Uh, yeah, it, it started probably the way you would think, and it ended probably 12 to 14 percent better than you would think. Uh, again, it's all brand new, right? So they know nothing about it. They've heard about it. Uh, Twitter scares them. Uh, former players. Uh, embellish what it really is uh, but they as time went they they got to where uh, they were running towards the work instead of trying to dodge it